Thanks for that, Kyle. Well, Thanksgiving is all about the turkey. There are plenty of ways that you can add beef to your holiday meal. And we have Angie Horkin with Wisconsin Beef Council showing us just how to do that. So, Angie, good morning. Good morning. We have some great bites here. Should we yeah. start with the stuffing? Yeah. You know, I don't want to step on turkey's toes. It is turkey day, Thanksgiving. But <laughs> I did... I feel like we should add some beef to yeah, it. Yeah, of, of course. Why of not? Course. Spice it up. A yeah, bit. so we have a fun stuffing recipe that incorporates ground beef into it. And mm. you know, the cool thing about this recipe is you could just have this as a full meal if you don't want to like make it on Thanksgiving. It's definitely a great full meal with adding that lean ground beef in there. So you take pound of ground beef and then you season it up to taste like sausage. So sage, onion powder, garlic powder, a little salt, a little crushed red pepper. Brown it up like you would with those seasonings and then you're going to add in some leeks and you can even saute up the leeks it calls for leeks instead of onion which definitely could be your choice if you don't want to go out and splurge or. and buy a big leek you don't have to um and then your traditional kind of stuffing bread so you can buy the cube bread from the deli or make mm -hmm. your own i bought the bag bread <laughs> cubes and then beef stock to moisten your bread and then actually at the end you put in cranberries or dried craisins, so dried cranberries, and then um, apple. Ooh, so like one Granny Smith apple, dice that up, and then bake it in the oven, cover it about 30, 40 minutes. You can always take the foil off and bake another 10 minutes if you like it kind of crunchy. Um, but yeah, it's a really good stuffing recipe with that beef in there. And then too, with the apple and the craisins, it's kind of got that sweet kick. I really like it, it's really enjoyable. And it'd be kind of fun for a different stuffing recipe at Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's a nice mixture. It looks very hearty and even a, you know, a perfect little add-on to the turkey. You've Definitely. Just, you know, get a little turkey. Definitely. Just Gotta just have the bit. turkey. Just a little bit. But add your beef to your stuffing yes. <laughs> or maybe appetizers. Yeah, let's talk so, apps now. I thought I'd talk apps this time of year because we're getting to that holiday party season. It's not that far away. So these are called Itty Bitty Beef Bundles. But it's just a beef wonton. So I took wonton wrappers and I filled them with a beef mixture. So you take a bag of broccoli slaw that you can get right in the supermarket, like in the produce mm -hmm. department. Saute that, kind of soften it about 10 minutes in some sesame oil. Then pull that off the heat, add in a pound of lean ground beef um, raw. So you're not going to cook oh, your ground beef. So it's going to get mixed with the slaw with um, some soy sauce, uh, garlic, and ginger. That's it for ingredients. And then you're going to stuff your wonton wraps. So you got the raw beef there, but with the cooked cabbage because it's softened, or the broccoli slaw. Yep. And then steam them like in a pot with a steamer basket. Or I do my wontons. Um, I just kind of fry them up for a minute nice. in a pan and then add water, cover them, and then steam them. But five, six minutes, steam them. And then you've got these cute little itty bitty beef bites. Wontons serve with, I've got a peanut sauce, but just soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, anything is perfect. Uh, one pound of the ground beef makes almost 48. Wow. So you could be really the hero of your Thanksgiving meal and, and really bring this flavor and unique little bite yes. here to, to the people you love. Exactly. <laughs> Or your new friends, who knows? Oh, exactly. Your friends giving, <laughs> whoever yep. you're yeah. going to hang out with. Or it'd be perfect the whole holiday season if you've got mm. a little party to go to, or if you're hosting, um, you can make a whole big bunch of batch of them. Yep, you can find all these different recipes. There's more appetizer recipes over on, where is it, Angie? Beeftips.com. Beeftips.com, that's right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me, and, and hopefully everyone has a great Thanksgiving, right? Yeah.